live backstage at Shoreline. Wild 94.9's Comedy Jam. What's up, everybody? My name is Kevin Hart. <laughs> yes. We got Christy James right here. Yes. And I'm JV. And JV. 6 yes. to 10, Monday through Friday. Yes, uh, listen, listen to, to us Telegram. in the morning. I'm going to say it again. This guy right here, now you haven't uh, gone out yet tonight. No. Last year, dude, you killed it. Very you were. It's no wonder you're headlining tonight. You were the best by oh, far. Oh man, thank you, thank you for the compliment. But me personally, I don't, I don't put those stamps on myself. I look at everybody and say it was a great comedy show. You know, I'm happy to walk away with. Uh, if I was quit lying. No, if I was as, <laughs> some guys aren't humble like that. If I was as funny as him, I would say it. I was the best. Come on. <laughs> I've always. Right? <laughs> I, I pride myself on, you know, not only being humble, but being a, a people's person. You know, I'm, a, I'm also a comedian's comic, you know. Other comics respect me and love me, so in return, I give the same respect to them. Listen, uh, we had uh, Kevin Hart on the air the other day, and one thing I respect about you is that each year or each set, you're always bringing up something always. new. New. And new some material. comedians, like, they'll, like you, I think you said in the interview, some comedians will start to say something and someone will finish a joke. Nothing worse, worse than that. My biggest fear. That's why tonight you guys will be seeing a new and what 25 sucks, to 30 minutes. That's what I do. Is, right? I, I could use the joke again. Tell the story about your dad. You watching uh, him? Oh, which one? <laughs> get the beat one up. Where, oh, yeah. where your dad got my hit. Dad, my dad got, dad. Uh, well, I saw my dad get hit twice. I saw my dad get hit twice in the head. And uh, pretty much, like, here's the thing. You know, when you get knocked out or, uh -huh. you know, if you lose a fight, you know, as a man, you have to respect the fact that you lost. Yeah. yeah. My dad never... He never accepted it. Like, my dad talked as if he won uh -huh. after getting knocked uh -huh. out. Like, I literally just got hit my dad's, like, mm, mm, hit him twice. <laughs> my dad fell out, and I'll never forget the look he gave me. Like, you know, he looked at me like I was wrong for being disappointed. I was like, get up. He's like, uh, obviously, I can't. Like, he had an attitude with me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, Dad, well, well, then don't fight no more. He said, no, no, he's going to get enough of this. Another right. what? Putting his hands in your face? It was a, it was a long time. My dad actually, my dad got surgery on his forehead after that. Wow. Yeah. See, I remember the only surgeries on the forehead. My dad. <laughs> got I remember this. I'm gonna do an imitation of Kevin Hart. I remember this last year. Like it was like bap bap. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Did he just hit me? Did twice? Did he just hit me twice? <laughs> he didn't know. Are you sure? Are you sure? It he was didn't him. Know. Well, then the mother must be an octopus. <laughs> that was so funny. I was dying last week when you heard that. So, Kevin, you, you always talk about your family. Yes. Stand-up comedy routine. So, is there ever a point where your wife has, like, really checked you in public? Like, I have to know for the ladies. No, you can't. You Come can't, on now. You can't, check, you can't check what pays the bills. You know, <laughs> at the end of the day, this, this act of mine, me telling the truth, is the reason for us having a home. The reason that you have a car. The minute you check me, it's all gone. <laughs> All of it. You know, we got to figure something else out. This is it. All I have is jokes. If you take these from me, I have nothing else. I'm <laughs> going to porn. Okay, this Whitney, I have nothing. All right. <laughs> now, Kevin, they only give us five minutes here uh, while we're backstage. But, uh, I mean, you've been on a, a, a ton of uh, TV. Yes. And you, you have your own specials. You, mm -hmm. Christy's whole family loves your DVD. Yes, like, loves those. Loves. Yes. What do you want to do next, though? What's the next uh, big thing well, for I you? Well, I just started a uh, production company called Heartbeat Productions. Your own production company. I'm basically uh, writing and producing and starring in my own projects. Uh, got a show coming out on Comedy Central. Uh, movie that's in the works now. Can I recommend an actress? Uh, no. Christy. <coughs> but here's the thing. Christy. Christy. <coughs> She's way too tall to do anything with me. Oh. I'm joking. I can take the heels off. Christy, I'm joking. Okay. You're tall is beautiful, first okay. of all. All right. So you're not the problem. I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one that didn't finish growing. You are Don't what you're supposed to be. Shaq's back for the Don't scene? <laughs> so, look, JV always talks about how comedians, you know, they definitely get a lot of their funny because growing up, they've gone through different situations yeah. in mm. life. You know, what was your situation that you think you can draw most of your comedy or pain from oh, turning I, that into funny? From my mother and dad's relationship. You really? know, like, my mom and dad were... They weren't married. They were like boyfriend and girlfriend forever. I don't even think there was a title on it. Like they were just around each other. But the fact that they had like stipulations within yeah. this weird relationship was hilarious. You know, I come from a bad family. My dad was on drugs. Mom wasn't. Dad was sober. Then his best friend got on drugs, drew him back to drugs. Like word. I was around nothing but but problems. Final question. Life, so. Why not you? A lot of times, you know, the cycle. Well, continues. once you see what drugs can do, you like. It, there's no such thing as a new crackhead. Like, yeah. it's impossible to become a new crackhead. The guy that's like, going to break it. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> people that are on drugs are people that, like, they've seen it and they said, ah, you know what, I'm going to go give it a shot. It ain't going to be that bad. I yeah, saw yeah. how bad it yeah, can get, yeah. you know. I saw my dad fall asleep in mid-conversation and wake up 
three minutes later, but pick oh, up right where he left that off. That was me. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kevin Hart's about you're to get deep. Come on, dude. <laughs> you're bringing actually, up old stuff. <laughs> actually, uh, backstage, my name is Kevin Hart once again. Yes, I'm JV. <laughs> and this is Christy right here. No, uh, Kevin, about to take the stage. I'm Thank about you. to go throw on Thank a bunch so of much. sexy right you're here. Yeah. Headliner, <laughs> your headliner right here for Wild oh, 94.9. Your, your other comic that's looking forward to gracing the stage. I can't wait. Deuces, front and back. See y'all later. <laughs>